Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, I'm Courtney Perna. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Three pedestrians and a motorcyclist all killed in Las Vegas Valley over roughly 12 hours Friday night and early Saturday. The motorcyclist traveling on US 95 southbound near West Lake Mead Boulevard ran into the back of an SUV. The first pedestrian killed by a semi-truck on St. Rose Parkway. The second was struck walking into the path of a Cadillac on East Tropicana Avenue near South Maryland Parkway. And the third person killed at I-15 and Sahara Avenue by a vehicle on the off-ramp. Police say they found a woman shot to death during a welfare check Monday morning. Officers called to a hotel room in the 3700 block of Las Vegas Boulevard, pronouncing the woman dead on the scene. This incident is still under investigation. A man is dead after police say an argument led to a shooting Sunday night. Officers responding to the 4900 block of Holt Avenue near North Nellis and East Lake Mead Boulevard just after 5.30 p.m. The victim was found near a vehicle parked on the street with an apparent gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital but was pronounced dead. His identity has not been released. A woman facing charges after an outburst during a school board meeting has her case dismissed. Kristen Nigro, a teacher's union board member and kindergarten teacher, faced a misdemeanor charge for disturbing the peace. The ACLU of Nevada representing Nigro filed to appeal the charges. Her lawyer argued the teacher was acting within her First Amendment rights. Notice a spike in your car insurance premiums? Experts say your insurance bill will continue to rise in 2024. According to Insurify, the Silver State has the second highest car insurance premiums. That's only behind New York. In Nevada, premiums have increased more than 35% since the first half of last year. Officials blaming poor driving and rising costs for vehicles. To reduce your yearly premium, it's recommended you compare auto quotes, check for multi-policy bundles, and see if you qualify for perks or discounts. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Clear skies continuing tonight with evening lows dipping to 45 degrees. But the clouds will be back on Wednesday. Get ready for wind gusts reaching 5 to 10 miles per hour and all day rain starting early Thursday. Winds expected to reach 10 to 15 miles per hour, but things should clear up by Friday. Coming up on 7 at 7, Lazy Dog bringing a third location to the Las Vegas Valley. We'll tell you where. And we all know exercise is important for health, but which activity do recommends recommend for a longer life? Find out when 7 at 7 continues. In business, Pickleball taking over the southwest area of the valley. The Bend, a 10-acre retail space fusing dining, entertainment, shopping, and fitness. Find it near South Durango and West Sunset Road. Phase one of the project has launched with several companies such as Makeshift Union and Baguette Cafe scheduled to open this spring. Anchor tenant Electric Pickle bringing nine pickleball courts, a two-story restaurant, and a lawn for live music. Phase two of the bend will begin this spring and expected to finish up by spring of next year. And Lazy Dog Restaurant and Bar opening its third location in Las Vegas. This one set to open in winter on North Stephanie Street in Henderson. It's almost 13,000 square feet with seating for 223 inside and 112 on the terrace. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Lights FC have named Dennis Sanchez as their new head coach. The appointment is the first addition to the club staff since the acquisition of new owner, six-time MLB All-Star Jose Bautista. The club will kick off their 2024 schedule on Saturday, March 9th, when it visits Memphis 901 FC before its home opener against FC Tulsa on Saturday, March 16th at Cashman Field. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Want to live longer? Experts say this is the best exercise you can do. Walking, there's no better workout. That's according to physical therapist and author, Dr. Lex Gonzalez. He says putting one foot in front of the other leads to better heart health and improved circulation, not to mention joint health and balance and coordination. Plus, it's a super accessible exercise, no special equipment or membership needed. To learn about other exercise you should be doing weekly, visit lvrj.com forward slash live well. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are off until February 6th following their bye week and NHL All-Star break. 
When they return, they'll host the Oilers, who will be gunning for their NHL record-tying 17th straight win. Edmonton is the 6-1 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the Stanley Cup. The Avalanche and Bruins are each 8-1, followed by the Hurricanes, Rangers, and Panthers at 10-1. The Knights, Stars, and Canucks are each 12-1 to claim the Cup. Time for Lifestyle News, brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort. The Las Vegas Natural History Museum celebrating Black History Month with a new exhibit. Resilience is a community-crafted cultural display showcasing African-American historical, artistic, and scientific contributions. You can check it out starting February 1st and look for weekend workshops, too. For more information, visit lvnhm.org. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Time to clean out your closets and dig through your storage units. Antique Road Show is coming to town. The PBS series kicking off its 2024 production tour right here in Las Vegas on May 1st. They'll film three episodes here. Each ticketed guest may bring two items for experts to appraise. To enter for a chance to win a pair of free tickets, go to the link on your screen now through March 18th. The Strip's first all-Spanish language residency starts May 3rd. The Mexican group Los Buquis performing at Park MGM. Residency dates will span through July and September. Tickets go on sale this Friday at Ticketmaster.com. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. I'm Courtney Perna. Don't forget if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content and get Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.